So with my bucket still in hand, it's time to continue on with Singularity. And it seems our first up close interaction with this larger Zex. Yeah, he suffers from a very common boss problem, which is having a very large glowing weak spot on his body. But for right now, we have some more items to get while we listen to the faraway yells of some Russian soldiers. Also, I'm fairly certain that I might have missed a note somewhere, so... But it wasn't that important. What is more important are these rather insane scribblings. There's a lot of information on here, and whether or not any of it is useful is hard to say. But it does have some familiar names, like Catherine and... Dimitchev and our own name. Apparently though, this might have actually been Beresov's office. As this letter here seems to either be addressed to a comrade or even to himself regarding the secret laboratory he was building, or did build, to house the TMD. More pesky trip wires, but they're fairly easily taken care of. Depending on if I can actually get back this magical bucket. doing pretty good on everything so far, so not really need to pick up anything. Doctors, I realize you are all very busy with your various projects. Dr. Gorkin, is there a problem? No, Colonel Ivanov. I'm fine. I'm fine. Very well. I know your timetables have been challenging. I also know your tasks are nearly impossible. But you are accomplishing what no other scientist on Earth have done. You are harnessing the power of E-99. Continue your work. And know that you are helping Mother Russia in ways you could not possibly imagine. And that was quite the pep talk, though... I guess it should be pretty obvious that no other scientists on Earth are using E-99. But it looks like this is some studies that were done on whether or not humans could really benefit from E99 and apparently they testing was halted because it didn't really have the uh, the outcomes they wanted as we could see by the sex but apparently Dimitrov was still going on with the human testing against Beresov's better wishes But you may notice up here in the corner, actually it looks like there's a tripwire, but... And there's a crooked painting. Don't know why I wanted to fix that, but... Yeah, this tripwire here we can't actually get rid of just yet. Rather, I don't know if it's a bug or not. But you may think there's not anything in this bathroom, but hidden up in the ceiling is a nice little piece of E99 tech for us. Also down here in the records room is some rather cryptic and interesting piece of information. 
such as pieces of propaganda illustrated going missing, possibly in the bathroom. Well, we got another odd piece of information laced in E99. Not really sure how Mir 12 could be wrong, but we haven't really got too much information on that organization. And this letter is just from Dimachev to the propaganda officer, saying that since Beresov has been visiting so many times down here in the records room, that, you know, just to keep an eye on him. But it looks like we have another film to watch, so let's go ahead and check it out. experiments have progressed as planned. The first step was accomplished and I have determined how to alter an item so that it is out of phase without time. Unfortunately, locating the item once it was shifted became a major problem, but I created the chronolite to address that difficulty. In this test, an object is shifted into an alternate dimension, rendering it invisible. Now, with the aid of the chronolite, the object can be seen. It can also pull phased items back into our time. The chronolite is a huge step forward. Once it has been miniaturized, it will be an incredible benefit to my teleportation research. Praise the deeds of Craig Lenin and Stalin. Now the chrono light that was mentioned in that film is not actually an upgrade that we are going to get, it's actually one we currently have. But it's very situational and we probably won't be seeing it for quite some time. But yeah, that tripwire finally decided to spring into action and we were finally able to take it out. And we are pretty much done here, so we can finally go check up on those Russian soldiers we've been hearing giving out orders the entire time we've been in there. It also looks like we might be getting close to the railway lines which are the next area after the research department or the research and development area But let's try to be very stealthful and quiet here. Doesn't seem like these Russians know we're here yet. Это Альфа, докладываем. Это область чиста. У нас новые цели. Even though the tense music is still going, that precision surgical strike is pretty much the end of that enemy wave. Thankfully I was able to finally show off the, the usefulness of the er, er, flammable propane tanks. They do quite good work against enemies and, you know, watching them dance around while they're engulfed in flames is always a nice distraction from just shooting people. There's my crispy buddy. But 
but I'm just wanting to double check and make sure I don't miss any E99. And I don't think there's any up here, so I think we're pretty much good. Even though there was another bio formula waiting down here for us, and it's a very useful one. And we can now increase our maximum TMD energy. I'll be making sure to upgrade a couple points into that next time we run into an augmenter. But now that we are out of that incredibly tense, tense situation, we can now continue on. Now you may be thinking we are supposed to head down into that open pit, but that's actually just a dead end. Instead, we need to do another wonderful box puzzle to make our way over this grating. And we actually need to bring this box with us because we're not done with it yet. But there's plenty of ammo and first aid items, but... Being as careful as I normally am, I'm pretty set. And... Hmm... Apparently we've had very differing opinions about Barisol. But this note is just saying about some rather odd attacks that went on at the base here. How people somehow magically got into closed off and locked rooms. And we know how someone might have been able to do that. But yeah, with our box we were able to get up to that broken ladder. And maybe a bit hard to see, but there is some E99 waiting up here in the rafters. Along with some very obvious corpses. I don't know if we're really ruining anything, are we? Sounds like somebody's in trouble. Or this might have just been a trap. to the first boss fight of the game with the Hulking Zex. The Hulking Zex is a very special kind of Zex. He's obviously very larger. He's actually quite a bit more intelligent and quite a bit more aggressive. Now you can tell he's a bit more intelligent because he's actually wearing armor. He's actually molded some pieces of metal to cover up his weak spot. But now that it is uncovered, we can actually start attacking him directly. And the best way to do that, as he teleports around the room, is to grab these explosive barrels and lob them back at him. And with that, the first phase is done, and you may have noticed that a worm of sorts actually jumped out of his bottom. 
That is actually what we saw circling around the sky in the previous update. I think they are actually called Soul Leeches. And even though we don't ever actually fight them directly, they, they will actually take over the mind of a Zex and make them what you see before us. But we are now into the second and even more dangerous phase. There is not going to be any more explosive barrels, and the weak spot has now changed for the hulking Zex. He now also has a very different and very damaging attack with this large club that you saw him use to kill that Spetsna soldier before. Now I do mess up a little bit for these first couple of swings, and I should actually be using a assault rifle. But it's actually best not to try and circle around him as he's about to swing. I'll be showing you how to properly dodge that in just a second. So instead of circling around him, what you actually want to do is back up in a straight line from his swing, and with the assault rifle, just get in some very direct hits onto his weak spot. And as we head into the third phase, some more normal Zex pop out to hassle us. Thankfully we have plenty of TMD energy to take care of them along with plenty of shotgun ammo. And the Hulking Zex comes in for his final phase. The weak point now on top of his head, and his attacks becoming even more aggressive. He now not only throws the explosive barrels at it, but he also will pop out very quickly to take a swing at it. Thankfully this swing is a bit easier to dodge than it was before, since you want to just kind of circle around him. And you just want to wait for him to pop out with explosive barrels. You can try taking pot shots at, the, at his head, but I think about three or four explosive barrels will do the trick. that the Hulking Zex is dead. Captain Ranko, over here. And we meet back up with Catherine. And she's obviously in quite a bit of a hurry, but we'll, we'll catch up with her next time.